The murder scene in Earl Buena Vista was shocking even to hardened troopers. A shallow grave with two bodies, but no heads, no hands. Their heads and hands had been severed from their bodies and were buried separately from their torsos within the same wooded area. A law enforcement source said those body parts were in a separate shallow grave maybe 20 yards or so away. Arrested was 27-year-old Yusuf Ibrahim of Jersey City, who, we are told, knew both of his victims. It is alleged that Ibrahim shot the victims during a dispute that occurred inside the parked car, a white Mercedes-Benz belonging to one of the victims. Ibrahim may have driven the two dead men to this rural site, reportedly belonging to his uncle in Buena Vista, where he cut off parts that would identify them. This all began with a suspicious activity report from a local resident. Ibrahim, who is wanted on an armed robbery warrant, is from Egypt. His two victims, foreign nationals, also were, according to a source. A gruesome double murder mystery tonight in New Jersey. Police say who did it isn't the mystery. Someone's in, under arrest, in fact. The mystery, they say, is why the accused killer, and this is the gruesome part, cut off two men's heads and hands. The victims are reportedly from Jersey City, but their remains were found buried in a town southwest of Philadelphia. I would assume Jeff Begays with the story. He's in Jersey City for us. Jeffrey? Yeah, Bill, shock and sadness in this community tonight. People who know the victims say they are recent immigrants from Egypt, 25, 27-year-old roommates who worked hard to send money back to family in Egypt. How they died isn't a mystery tonight. Why they were murdered is. On the streets of Jersey City along Bergen Avenue, to the naked eye, it's not obvious, but to members of the close-knit Coptic Orthodox Church, the pain is real. It's a shock, you know what I mean? Like, something like this don't happen to people like that. Now that they know two members of this church have been brutally murdered, but no one in this community seems to know why. It was crazy what happened to these two, and do they deserve it? No. Did it, was it expected? Never. And that's just as sad. The two victims, identified by friends as Hani Tawadros and Amdad Kundis, were found buried in a backyard in Buena Vista, New Jersey, last Thursday. Today, police announced the arrest. 28-year-old Yusuf Ibrahim is in custody. Numerous state police personnel and multiple other agencies worked tirelessly to bring about a quick arrest and a substantial body of evidence in this crime. Investigators say Ibrahim shot and killed the victims, severed their heads and hands, and buried the remains at a Buena Vista house. Back in Jersey City, friends of the victims are praying that police will have the answers to the questions that now haunt them. Privately, some here wonder if it had something to do with the victim's religion. They leave it for it was a detective and the investigation. So far, police have not revealed a motive for the grisly murders as the suspect sits behind bars, waiting for his day in court. Authorities today called the suspect ruthless and calculating. They also say that he belongs behind bars and that's where he remains tonight. We're live in Jersey City. Jeff Pegues, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Jeff, thank you.